Hey everybody, I'm going to show you a pretty cool trick in Omnisphere using the arpeggiator to get a pretty cool like 1980s Cyndi Lauper all through the night um, keyboard intro that they use. I think the original studio version used the Juno 8 and in Omnisphere I found a pretty cool patch called Classic Juno Pluck which sounds pretty good, pretty similar to the um, studio version. Not exactly, but... So, pretty cool sound there. And I'm gonna show you how, what I did for the arpeggiator to get that that kind of um, stutter effect arpeggiator sound. So I can just basically hold the keys down and it will play the notes for me. Obviously you could play them by hand. There's, It's a pretty simple riff, it's just the the notes for it are let's let's see here it's and then it goes and then back to the main part so that's pretty much it pretty simple you can play it by hand but to get the perfect timing, the arpeggiator is really, really nice for this. And what I did is I came in here and I went into, so after I had the main patch selected, you come in here, so if you've got, you're in the patch, click on ARP for arpeggiator. And by default, it's gonna be off, so click it on. And then the settings I have are mode is down, trigger legato, clock one eighth, three octaves, and I have eight steps set it on the step sequencer here, and then the little bars are the velocity, so every note that's played subsequently will be a little bit quieter than the last one. And this doesn't have really a huge effect because it's repeating so fast. You could have these all max velocity, probably won't really know much, know so much of a difference, but everything else is pretty much set. So now that I have the arpeggiator turned on, is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play the, those three first notes, the, let's see. I'm just gonna play that as a as a chord and let it just hold it down and then the arpeggiator since it's set to mode is down, it's gonna continue to play the notes all the way down when it loops. It's gonna do 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 kind of like that. And the reason why I'm gonna play them and then I'm also gonna play, let go, play, let go, is because because I'm holding down just three notes, the loop isn't gonna be right. It's not gonna get the um so if I just go ahead and play this for you, it's gonna sound pretty close already, but let's just, let's just do it. So it's pretty close, but it's got too many notes going on. It's, it's, it's actually got, actually it's too few notes. It's, the scale is, it's going down and it's looping this over and over again. The, and that's not right, it needs to go. And the reason why I don't want to hold down four of the notes is because when the arpeggiator goes down, it's going to start at the root note. So it's going to go, well, not or the starting note, sorry. So it's going to go like, dent, 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 and then it's going to start that note again to go down. So, and that's not what we want. We don't want two of those guys. So to do it right is just play the first three and then when it loops, just play it. So here's what I'm gonna do. So it's pretty cool. Um, you know, that's it's, it's you're you're subject to kind of some error there because, given on how I have it set up in Omnisphere, um, and the way my MIDI keyboard is and the keys, sometimes like you heard there, I got it kind of wrong where I press the bottom first or you know trying to press them at the exact same time is a little tricky. Obviously, you could you could tweak this more and make it make it more flawless, but. I couldn't figure out a way in Omnisphere to play um, to, to not to not duplicate that first note when it was repeating um, its loop cycle. So 
I'll play around with a little bit more. I might be able to figure that out. But, you know, just like that, even holding two notes it also does pretty much, pretty much does the job. So. Oh, pretty cool. Anyway, that's it.